All right, Scope TV, we got Plies on the line. Hey, Plies, you still with me? I'm still here. All right, all right. And just so everybody knows, we got Goon Affiliated coming out October 6th, the fourth album from Plies. This man just keeps putting out albums. And that's where we lead in my next question. Goon Affiliated is your fourth major album release. Do you feel like you've learned what the people want for you, or do you still have the pressure to keep it fresh? Um, for me, man, the only thing I've ever tried to do when I came into this game is, is, is make honest music that's true to who I am. I think a lot of times when you experience early success, um, like I have, I think a lot of times, I always thought the more accomplishments you acquired in this game, the more the major labels would allow you to do you. But one thing I've learned is the more you accomplish, the more people want to drive. Um, so for me, I, I think I understand my core following, and I try to cater to my core following. I think any time you try to make music for people that you don't know their way of living, I think you, you run yourself into a dead end. That's great. Now, what's a recording session with Plies like, and what do you need to get into the mood to, to record? Oh, um, for me, man, I think it's it's a mood. Um, I go to the studio sometime. I'm not an artist that puts myself on the schedule in terms of when I go to the studio. Um, it's sometimes when I go to the studio uh, and I can't come up with anything. And I don't try to make myself right. Uh, I think any time, there's been times where I go to the studio and I might do six songs in one day. And there's times that I go to the studio. There's times that I don't go to the studio at at a time, and I think that works good for me because anytime you want to make music that's true to who you are, you can never force yourself to make that music. So I never start recording. Um, I think it's, it's, it's important to me because I know at some point in your life, you know, going from having five hundred dollars in your account, if you had an account, you know, to having five hundred thousand dollars in your account, you know, you're definitely a different person. You're you, you're, you're in a different space. I think a lot of times that can change the type of music that you make. But I try to strip myself away from all of that to continue to allow me to make music that I feel is, in core, is important for my core audience to have. Now, Plies, I mean, the people, they, they know. You really came up and, and, and came from a tough spot and made it work. You really flipped your cards. At what point in life did you realize that you were, just, you were no longer just Plies but rather you were Plies, the hip-hop star. Like, what happened that made you realize, wow, you know what? I'm, from a I'm doing it. Different climate, in my opinion. Um, you know, being from a minority background, it's a little different with us in dealing with success. I think we, we don't embrace success on a national level like a lot of other ethnic groups do. Um, and, I, and I'm proud of what I represent and what I come from. Um, I think, I, for me, I found myself trying to protect what I worked so hard to accomplish and obtain. Um, I think that's one of the hardest things about success. Um, and for me, I, I think any time you can go um, to a simple place as a, as a, as a grocery store or a convenience store, a liquor store, or, or a shopping plaza, and, and you find yourself getting notarized um, by every different kind of ethnic group and background, um, it was kind of my eye-opening experience, but... You know, I do understand that, that, that the importance and the power of media, you know, whether it's through internet, whether it's through television, through radio. Um, but at the same time, I'm smart enough to understand that that same outlet is the same outlet that can destroy you. So I try to be real strategic, man, in my opinion, um, about how fast I want to climb up the chart. Because I know a lot of times when, when those outlets make you, as an artist, and make, and make your career, those same outlets can push the button and destroy you at the same time. Mm. Now, how'd you choose what artists and producers you wanted for Goon Affiliated? I mean, I know you got you got the pick of the litter. How, do you, how does Plies choose who you want to fuck with? Oh, for me, man. I'm glad I heard you cuss, because now I know I can cuss. Damn. Yeah, you can cuss. Um, I ain't know what you had me on for a minute. Um, but for me, man... Um, this is the first time on this particular album, man, that I had a chance to work with other artists, um, other rap artists. I never worked with a rap artist on any of my three previous albums. Um, and this time here, man, um, I told somebody just the other day, like, it had to be important to me to know um, if I was fucking with a particular artist um, that I 
believe the artists and their music. Uh, I know a lot of times you get a lot of artists that, that do interviews, I mean, not do interviews, but do appearances and features and collaborations with other artists that they're probably not even a fan of. Um, and a lot of people do it for the check. Um, and for me, I, I felt like it was important for me to deal and work with artists, man, on a, on a, on a feature, from a feature standpoint. Um, that I respected them not only as a person, um, but respected their craft as well. And from a production standpoint, um, I never allowed myself to get caught up in the name of the producer. Um, I feel like it's cash that charged two hundred thousand dollars a track. Um, I feel like it's cash that maybe in the hood in Chicago uh, that ain't had his first big break yet. Um, that makes just as good music. So for me, man, I always try to keep my my search open. Um, to work with any form of a, of a producer, but for me, on a business aspect, I like to find a cat who got great talent um, that I can put my co-sign on as opposed to, to finding somebody that I can't gain anything out of. I'd rather have 12 songs on my album that are all new cats, but cats that I believe in, and I'm able to ink them to a deal um, to pull them out and help them out in that situation, but at the same time, it's productive for me on the business end. Mm. Now, we got less than four minutes left we got three questions, Plies, left. This has just been incredible, let me tell you. Now, hip-hop is all about keeping it real. After such success and fame, how do you still keep it real with yourself and your fans through hip-hop? I think for me to keep it real, I, I got to see people that's been around me early on in my, in my situation. If I'm seeing them growing um, from a knowledge standpoint as well as from a financial standpoint, um, that's the realest I can keep it. Um, from a from a fan standpoint, um, I think it's always important to, to to always cater to the people who allowed the world to know who I was. Um, and I think that's my core following. Uh, I had a mixtape following, like I said, before I got my national look. Um, and I can never allow myself to get to this point in my career and let corporate America tell me um, that I need to make a bigger commercial record or, or a bigger pop sounding record. Um, to bring people aboard that may not know who I am as an artist. So, for me, there's only two ways that I feel like I can keep rid of myself and keep rid of the people that have been supporting me. All right. Now, obviously, I don't know if you're a fan, but the NFL season is upon us with the preseason starting tonight. What team does Plies root for? I'm against the Dolphins, but what, what it is? I'm a gambler, man. Anytime you're a gambler, you better never allow yourself to love one team. Okay. So for me, I, I do a lot of I do a lot of side bets um, when football is so. Um, for me, man, by me being a, a Floridian, you know, um, I would love to see you know anywhere from the Jaguars to the Dolphins to the Bucks um, be in the Super Bowl every year if it's possible. Um, but at the same time, I know that's that's not that's not being realistic with myself. But um, I'm a gambler, man, so I'm a bandwagon rider. All right, now. We're going to go out with a bang, Plies, because this really has just been an incredible interview. Please, let the listeners know where to get more Plies, what's coming up for you. And then also, I got a favor I got to ask you. I got a baby son here who, I don't know why, but when I play your music, it stops him from crying. His name's Jeremy Ryan. If you could give him a shout out, my man, and I could play it for him in a couple of years, he's going to be the coolest kid in school. Let the people know. Let my son know. Let's go out with a bang, Plies. Yeah, I'm going to be proud of you. Just as proud as your father is of you, man. So, um, from, from me to Jeremy, um, like I said, I, I I want him to know how much I appreciate um, an honest interview from, from, from his, his pops, man. Because I tell people all the time, man, this this game is is full of negativity. This game is full of people who, who have hidden agendas and hidden motives. Um, and any time I have my opportunity to be able to sit down with where I like to call a stand-up individual and conduct a great interview, um, I'm always a fan of it, man. So before we get out of here, I definitely want to salute you um, on, on my end, man, for, for giving me what I like to call a great interview. I think it's certain things that people want to know and need to know. Um, and a lot of times people get you on calls and they ask you the same shit that they had not asked five other people that they got on the phone. And I think it's always great to hear people know who they're actually talking to on the other end. I feel like you did a hell of a job in researching my situation, so I fuck with you for fucking with me. Well, I, I, can't, I can't say enough. And we got it here. Plies, get that goon affiliated. Keep buying the plies. Keep downloading the plies. Scope TV, you know what it is. Plies, thank you.